In case you hadn't noticed, the Chinese electric car market is booming and it's coming to Europe. While other companies compete via increasingly luxurious models, this influx of cheap EVs could be here to shake things up. Enter BYD. Welcome to the BYD Atto 3. Now, if you're wondering, WTF BYD stands for, it's Build Your Dreams. And it's a Chinese brand, and if you haven't heard of them, you're gonna, because they are selling loads of these, and they're one of the biggest EV manufacturers on the planet. So, watch this space. Now, BYD actually has a fantastic heritage in the world of batteries and designing them, and they also do a lot of public transport like buses. So if you're a little bit apprehensive about BYD, fear not, because these guys have got quite the pedigree when it comes to designing electric transport. Now, they say that in terms of beauty, it's what's on the inside that counts, and it certainly bodes well for this car because the interior is fantastic. I'm not a massive fan of the exterior. It's fairly non-offensive they haven't really gone for it in terms of style and making something that really stands out on the road i'm rick bullamere and today we're mostly driving the byd atto 3. the version we're reviewing has a maximum dc charging rate of 88 kilowatts and a 60 kilowatt hour battery giving this compact suv an official range of 260 miles it does 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds and has a top speed of 99 miles per hour Apparently, BYD have designed this car to make you feel like you're in a gym. This is supposed to be like a kettlebell, treadmill, dumbbells or something like that. But for me, it's definitely more like being in a fighter jet. We'll explain that noise in a bit, but a couple of things that really stand out. This centre console, you can decide which orientation you have it at. Landscape, watch a film, or like this. Also, other things in the cockpit. I'm going to call it a cockpit because it definitely feels like one. I think they've done a really good job with the interior here. Nice and smooth and squidgy in all the right places there and there. I even like this door handle as well. Wasn't quite sure at first, but look at this. And it does feel solid. It does feel well built. I'm not sure about this join on the plastic here. Um, but yeah, just a nice, well designed interior. Now, there are some strings attached, literally. If you're musical, here's a feature you might like. But can you name the tune? Let us know in the comments if you got it. A gimmick, yes, but at Select Car Leasing, we say, why not? Now, in terms of the drive modes, you've got three, Sport, Eco, and Normal. Even in Sport, it's not as quick as a lot of other electric cars which is a bit strange because generally you put your foot down and you really feel it, whereas this is a bit more gradual. So, there you go. I guess while this is an SUV, it doesn't feel like a massive car. It's not like some of the other SUVs we've driven and you can check all of those reviews out on Select Car Leasing YouTube. But this, I think, is quite a, a compact version of an SUV. I think the kids will like this. Is There's a, enough stuff on the entertainment to keep them entertained. Plenty of room in the back as well. The guys, the camera lads were in the back early and saying plenty of foot room and, and head room as well. Now I know what you're thinking, can you get your mother-in-law in the boot of this car? Well, obviously we did that test uh, as standard and you can. And Dean fitted perfectly in the back with a cup of tea. Uh, and thank you very much, you are a good sport and the best mother-in-law I've ever had. The boot space with the seats up comes in at 555 litres and with the seats down, 1,338 litres which is pretty good, passing both the mother-in-law and the golf club test. But only just. Now, quite surprisingly, BYD have missed a trick of not utilising the space in the front of the car for extra storage. Where am I going to put my food bin now? What else? While it's charging, loads of storage space under here for your, you've got a 12 volt and your USB-C and, have we got, oh, yep, USB-C and USB power outlets. Oh, also noting it has isofix in the front and the back, so great if you have a big family. Also in the back are further USB-C and USB-A ports just for good measure. Sunroof as standard. And it actually opens. Not all sunroofs open nowadays, so that's quite novel. So, is the BYD really worth it? 
At this price point, this all-electric hatchback crossover SUV will make a lot of sense to a lot of people, with enough space and fun to keep everyone comfortable and entertained. You could certainly do a family road trip in this, especially with that 260 mile range. But if this EV doesn't float your boat, check out our other reviews on the Select Car Leasing YouTube channel and head over to selectcarleasing.co.uk to see the latest electric deals. Oh, 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 o